So I think this access to treatment departed from the, uh, the original NCD cases that we do, but with a lens to access. Uh, so the current NCD that we do, we don't take into consideration the accessibility to treatment. So we are, we are you know, considering a few things in this methodological uh, approach. So we are still in the level of conceptualization. So the first, the first point that we want to do is consider access, uh, taking the, uh, the five uh, points of the accessibility, the affordability, acceptability, uh, and uh, oh, thank you very much. So this this kind of the the, the, the five points that we were thinking about, <clears throat> uh, affordability and acceptability and adequacy and the quality, and then take also the new approach to the cycle of medicine as another lens to accessibility. We also think about currently we we consider the NCD and mainly the diabetes through a pen. A pen is the, the package for essential uh, uh, service for non communicable disease, but with the new pen plus, which is account for decentralized uh, services to the first level of care that need also to be included in the access. So currently we are in that kind of conceptualization phase to look at beyond increasing coverage and consider accessibility as another layer to, uh, to this investment cases. The challenge that we might face, as my, the previous presenter said, is how can we measure the impact, the effect size of this access interventions? What kind of access intervention that we need to consider in this uh, business case? Uh, how can we distinguish between the, the impact or the outcome that we see? Uh, is it from the increasing coverage or is it from increasing access? So we're in that process of, uh, of our uh, initial, initial uh, uh, thinking. So I might stop here and then uh, take questions if, uh, if there is any.